to Independent Filmmaking Chapter 15. Hi, my name is David De Jesus, and today I'm going to talk to you about selling your completed independent film. Before selling your independent film, we're going to outline some key points. After all, someday your movie will be released in the local multiplex, alongside other studio releases, starting with costs from $3 million up to $133 million. Four key points to remember. Where and how films are marketed how and what audiences are targeted, how you and the distributor market your independent film, and lastly, how to promote and collaborate with others. First key point, where and how films are marketed. Competition in theaters is particularly intense these days because audiences dropped by 19% from 2002 to 2008, while at the same time, the number of films released by Hollywood jumped for 30%. Hollywood created a starting trend and how to get moviegoers to go back to the movie theaters. So on a typical weekend, a dozen films are open, including three blockbuster studio releases. So in order to get noticed, Hollywood spends $36 million in marketing films. Six million goes to trailers, posters, stage promotion premieres. 70 to 80% goes to TV ads, 8 to 9% goes to internet, and the remainder goes into newspapers, magazines, and local outdoor domestic ads. Second key point, how and what audiences are targeted. Because the stakes are so high, Hollywood cannot afford to release a film, hoping it finds its audience. Hollywood identifies the audience before production starts Targeting the audience is an orchestrated campaign that often starts within the year's promotion, even before the first trailer is released. Then they will release a barrage of theatrical trailers from four to six months prior to opening day. They will saturate the audience with 30 second TV spots, five weeks before grand black buster night opening. Lastly, buying 15 seconds reminder spots on billboards and newspaper ads, while simultaneously pumping your phone and computer devices online with reminders. Four major audiences. A giant tentpole picture is aimed to four or major audiences group. First group, men under the age of 25. Second group, men over the age of 25. Third group, women under the age of 25. And lastly, women over the age of 25. Fourth and last key point, how to promote and collaborate with others. First and foremost, don't forget, your motion picture is unique. There is no wrong way on how you can sell your film. But keep in mind to arm yourself with a strong team of experts who can take your creation to the next level. Some of these are. Some of these are licensed dealers, distributors, sales agent managers, experienced market consultants, entertainment lawyers, film agents, and lastly, production managers. Do not try to do this yourself. One wrong move can kill your film. While engaging a rep is not the only way, it is highly recommended. Thank you for watching. Once again, my name is David Jesus. Have a great day. Good morning, class. My name is Leonard Brady, and I'll be talking about industry screening. There are two locations where film festivals are used in the United States. That is Los Angeles and New York City. Now, to mention the few festivals that be going on, I'll be telling you a list of Independent Feature Project, Film Independent Sneak Preview, The American Cinematic Screening, AFI Sponsored Screening, Tribeca Film Festival Screening. Part 2, Distributor Screening. Distributor Screening is a good look because you're not affiliated with the film festivals. So that means you get to market your film directly to the distributors. The only downside to that, you have to get at least 200 distributors, foreign and domestic. Most of the screenings are advertised within the self. A third option is selective private screening. Selective private screening, basically what that is, you give your film to the distributors and they screen it privately. The only downfall to the option is you're not there. So you don't know if they're giving your film a full attention or if they're just ignoring it or skipping through it and you don't get to see their, their reaction, if they like it, if they don't like it, or if they're jumping for it. My name is Alex Greenspan, and this is Selective Private Screenings from Chapter 15. The selective screening approach is simply when you take your film and send it directly to distributors, sales agents, networks, etc. 
so that they can watch, consider it in the privacy of their own office or home theater. The upside of this is that it creates a more professional atmosphere and they may take your work more seriously, especially if they believe they're getting in on a private screening or early release. Also, by bringing your work to them yourself, you can pick and choose who receives it and make sure that they are someone who would view your project more favorably because it's in their real house instead of just a large public viewing where anyone can show up and someone who only works with character studies would not like your horror slash slasher flick. The downside of this is that you will not be there to clarify or speak with them in any capacity. And aside from the fact that they're viewing it without a collective reaction from the audience, they may even go as far as to read a newspaper throughout the whole show. Recruited audience screenings. A recruited audience is simply when you literally recruit an audience to watch your film. When they are done, they fill out a survey or interviewed and the results are gathered up and analyzed and used to determine what happens to the film. The results of this are best when the project is meant for mass audiences. Distributors and the like are often invited to attend, but only if it's deemed appropriate. If the audience results are positive, then they can be used to help convince the distributors or sales agents to releasing or working to help release the movie. Even if this does not work out, the results can be taken to individual theaters and get the owners to allow a showing. There is no right way to present a film to a potential distributor or a buyer. Everything from the genre, length, and other elements have to be taken into account before a decision is made. It is part of the production rep's job to work with the producer to decide which method is best. Hello, my name is Gerald King, and I'm going to be talking about how to budget your film for the film festival. Now, in order to go about doing this, you must have shown your release forms as evidence of it. To prevent any trouble, you should have a producer with you to communicate the hardwired things that has to be talked about so your film is not eligible to even be sent there. This can avoid any conflict that the schedule might have with your film, your cast, your crew, and you. Another thing is always to get things on paper. Never have a verbal agreement because verbal agreements can easily be denied in the court of law and you can easily get sued over things like that. My name is Gerald King and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Chris and I'm going to talk to you about sending DVDs to distributors and sales agents. First, I'm going to talk about screening your films. Sometimes screening your films is not the best way to get an executive to view your film. Screening can be hard for executives to attend and more time consuming for them when they are constantly viewing films from many different independent filmmakers. Getting an executive to view your film. Executives sometimes prefer to receive films in the form of DVD or video cassette. It is important to first find out which format the executive would prefer you to send the film to. By sending your films to executives this way, they can view your films on their time and have, have it be less time consuming for them. This can result in getting feedback much faster. Competing with other independent filmmakers. Every year, almost 2,000 independent films compete to get the attention of film executives. But a key to getting your film noticed is to invite the executive to your film screenings. Even if they cannot attend, at least put your name out there for them and offer to send them their film personally. 